Now this is where it all goes down. Right now we're outside of Premier RV, Oregon in Junction City, Oregon. Damon, there's a lot of history in this building. There's a lot of history in this building. This was the original Monaco plant. Then it was Country Coach's Plant 10, where all the Magnas and Affinities were built. And now it's Premier RV Center, which is where we do storage, service, and sales. There's a lot of nice coaches coming and going here. A lot of work happening, but I think you guys have some nice units available for sale. We do. Should we go and take a look? Yeah, let's walk through the entire facility. I want to see sales, service. I want to see the whole Plant 10. We'll give you the tour. So this is what you see when you walk in the front door at Premier RV. This is our reception area. So we've got a historic article from July 2012, all of our business cards, as well as some local vendors, and some caps and shirts and mugs. And then we have a bunch of old marketing from Country Coach. So this is uh, the Dynamax chassis and all the benefits and features. Yeah, so what's all going on here? We talk about this in a lot of videos, but this is semi-monocoque construction. So you wanna explain a little bit about what we're looking at here? Yeah, so the base structure area, the way it's designed is it takes the stress and weight of that chassis and it puts it down into the floor of the bays, down to low for a low center of gravity, and spreads that stress out over a really large area instead of just two rails up high. And then they get to hand pick their own suspension components and the independent suspension in the front, the shocks, right height valves, everything. They get to pick what they want to use in, in designing their chassis and building it themselves. Now is this up here, is this all tubular steel? That is, that's all inch and a half by inch and a half tubular steel welded together. So no production motorhomes out there doing anything like what Country Coach did? No, not even today. Yeah, nothing yeah. like it. Nothing. Unless you get into that $2 million yeah. Newell Coach yeah, or that definitely. Prevo range. Those guys do it. Shop rate 139 an hour. You guys got to be some of the most affordable shop rate in the country, huh? Yeah, we're pretty competitive. For that sure. might be going up soon, though. You never know. <laughs> Depends what your charge is for the video. <laughs> yeah, so what else? You got some coaches for sale we can find? Yes, right this way. So our service guys sit back here. We have uh, Doug Beaudry and Jim Coley. They're the service managers. This is all sales side you've seen. Jamie, do you want to go down here? Yeah, sure. Let's see okay. your office. Caitlin's area. Louie's office. Gary's office, which was the same 30 years ago at Country Coach. And then uh, my office. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go see where the coaches are at. Let's go. Nice big customer lounge. I like the dog beds. You guys are dog friendly here at Premier RV of Oregon? Yes, we are. Nice. And then right through this door is the showroom. So when we do remodels, we keep any good core furniture that we can reuse uh, in future coaches. And here we are. This is where it all happened. So this was the plant 10. This was the production line where the Country Coach Magnas and Affinities were built? Yes, this, they'd start as bare chassis on this end. These overhead cranes you see would lift up the sidewalls, floors, roofs, assemble the box, and then the yellow lines on the floor on each side of the two production lines. Okay, and you guys got some coaches for sale. This is a coach that I'm getting excited about. Bath and a half, Monaco Signature, with the 600 Cummins, for only a hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars that's it i mean you guys just find some great on the road master chassis eight yep. airbags this coach is just absolutely loaded with equipment 2017 date codes on the tires i highly doubt this coach is going to last long i'm just going to show everybody a quick peek but we have a lot more coaches to look at we did do a full video on this coach if you want to see the full tour I will leave that in the description below. But I know you got some country coaches for us. What, what kind we of do. what kind of country coaches do you have available? Nice allure right here, 470. Is this coach available? Nope, sold. And then Louis sold that one yesterday. Magna 630, man, that is a nice coach. Congratulations to the new owners of these coaches. But oh, there's a nice Tiff and Allegro bus. That's a rare floor plan as well. What's the story on that coach? That is a rare floor plan. Uh, 2000, I've never seen that before. It's a 2015 45 AP Allegro let's, bus. Let's walk inside this coach real quick. I've never seen this floor plan. And I love the exterior paint scheme with the white and silver. And that almost looks like a black, but that's actually a burgundy and beautiful under lighting. This is a 2015 Allegro bus with the Cummins 450. Yep. Lots of cool features in this coach. Very comfortable. So this floor plan, I've never seen anything like it, huh? It's like the 37 AP, but with another uh, eight feet on the back of it. So 
You got the dual sinks and the main bathroom is in the middle or the large bathroom, we'll say. With Jack and Jill doors, a beautiful backsplash that matches the galley and then a huge shower with a teak seat. So now this is unlike anything I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of Tiffin Allegro buses too. So a full walk-in closet with a desk back here, nice little work area, and then a, a rear half bathroom that's just in front of, I mean, this is this is a legit walk-in closet. You wanna be my cameraman for yeah, a second? Yeah, I've, I've got a backpack on here. I mean, this is, I couldn't quite do jumping jacks in here, but uh, take a look, a closer look at this. The same beautiful tile look floors. Look at that shoe storage and safe. Andrew, is that a stacked washer dryer behind yeah, you? stackable washer and dryer. Now, this is something, I don't know if they left this in, a Dyson, a Dyson vacuum. Yeah. yeah. That's like a $500 vacuum right there. There's your Tiffin owner's manuals, all of your central vac components. I like that you have hanging space and then a little more storage up here for shoes or hats or whatnot and some air vents. You do have a safe back here. All that storage. Yeah, and then the closets are finished out like what you would see in a high-end home. I like all the little stuff Tiffin does, like these little baskets and drawers. But all right, how much dough do you need for this coach? How many miles are on it? We got some more coaches. I want to find some country coach. 269, 46,000 miles. That's a lot of coach for the money. Yes. I see another Tiffin, only 69,000 for a diesel Tiffin motor on. That is rare, but this Class C back here is really catching my eye. A rene Renegade... Verona, I don't see too many Super C's here. What's the story on this coach, sir? We get them in every once in a while. Uh, people buy them and then they decide they want to go into a longer tag axle, 600 horsepower coach. So that's a 2018 Verona LE. I guess the LE is the higher end model. And it's really clean. Uh, nice coach, beautiful colors. Yeah, and this is a 40 foot coach. A lot of value in the Super C. These are very popular, but how much dough do you guys need for that Renegade? Two ninety nine. That's a lot of coach for the money, but let's see. Uh, I know you guys got some country coaches available somewhere here. Eventually. Oh, nice Holiday Rambler there. Is that Holiday Rambler available? It is. That just came in. It's a 43-foot Navigator, and it has a Series 60 Detroit engine in it. Hey, that's a lot of value there. Yeah, and I can tell from 20 feet away that this is a super clean coach. Do you know how many miles are on it and how much dough do you need? Only 22,000 miles and 175,000. Wow, 22,000 miles on a Detroit Diesel Series 60. That's not even close to being broken in. Under 200 grand. It's a lot of coach for the money, but we got a lot more coaches to see. We'll give them a, oh, I gotta go check this out. What's going on back here? Huge mid bathroom. This thing is spotless. Nice chair in here. Oh, walnut. I mean, you don't see walnut very often. Yeah, beautiful tile floors. Yeah. A lot of value in this. Now, Holiday Rambler was owned by Monaco yeah. during this time. Yes, it was. So this was like the signature of Holiday Rambler. It's the high-end model. Perfect. Man, that is a good-looking new air. I know you're loyal to Country Coach, but Newmar has definitely hit the nail on the head with this new air, shorter, high-end luxury diesel pusher. What are your thoughts on that, Coach? I love them. They're short, roof-mounted awnings. Um, really a neat coach. Unfortunately, it's already sold, though. Going to Canada, eh? Hey, congratulations to the new owners of this coach, but I don't want to break any more hearts and tease anybody else. Let's find some more coaches that are available, like this $70,000 Tiffin Allegro Bay. Also a nice-looking Fleetwood Revolution over here. This coach is priced at only 119,000, but diesel motorhome, 300 horsepower Cummins with a front engine diesel. What's front going on? engine, yeah, the Fred chassis, Freightliner chassis, 300 Cummins, has an exhaust brake, 67,000 miles, and $70,000. That's a lot of coach. This is a 2007. I'll give everybody a quick peek. Real nice open floor plan. Everything looks like it's in really good condition. Now this is a good looking country coach. I love the stainless down the side. What is the story on this coach, sir? That is a super low mile, 26,000 miles on a 2003 36 foot dual slide country coach Allure. It has cherry wood cabinets and 
uh, 350 Cummins. Yeah, let's take a closer look inside this real quick. And then we're gonna walk around the rest of the facility in a moment, but I gotta get everybody a look at this coach. $89,000, ladies and gentlemen. High-end diesel pusher with 20 some thousand miles on it. Yeah. That's some expensive miles that the owner, uh, th those first 20,000 miles, they took a big hit on those. That's where they debug them. <laughs> yes, sir. So uh, new tires on this coach. Do you know what the date codes are on these tires? 2022. Brand new Brand tires new. on it. Yes. Under 90 grand, an absolutely stunning coach with low miles. I highly doubt this will last long, especially all of the value of these coaches going through your service department here where they were built uh when they when they were brand new now you've been watching my channel you know i like these new marking airs what is the story on this coach sir that one just came in it's a 2012 45 foot that is priced at two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars, andrew is that a bath and a half coach yes and this has got the Cummins ISX 600, 600 horsepower, 1,850 pound-feet of torque. And do you know if this is a DEF coach or? It is a it DEF is, yeah. coach. It's got the big Girard awnings. How many miles are on it? 101,000. 100,000 mile King Air, 250 grand. That is a rare find. But this country coach Magna is just really drawing in my attention. This is an absolutely stunning paint job with the silver gray and you can see how this gray color right here slowly fades up into more of a silver i don't know this might be one of my new favorite country coach paint jobs what is the story on this coach sir 2007 magna 600 isx cummins beautiful coach uh, you can see the finish on it inside and out it is spotless pre-def pre-particulate filter yes and it was built right here in this building. In this building. All right, let's take a quick look inside of this coach and we have a lot more to show you guys. Tag axle, Michelin tires, you got 365s on the front. Yeah, this coach is absolutely in the wrapper. You can see there's some shadows crossing these seats, but just absolutely stunning. Now this is a little different. Looks like a blue carpet, very modern design style. Like this. This couch is something you would see in a brand new coach. You've got the opposing recliners, but I gotta give everybody a close up. I'm usually not a fan of carpets, but this is a very high end, good looking carpet. You've got a desk back there. What all's going on in this coach, Damon? Yeah, this is a Magna Galileo floor plan with the fixed desk in the middle. And then we did a lot of updates on this a few years ago for the owners. We did this carpeting, recovered the sofa, Samsung side-by-side -side or cafe door or fridge LEDs on the front and back uh, New microwave LED lights it's Yeah, really a clean coat. It really is. It's all the right colors and I can just tell how well it's been cared for Beautiful tile floor. I usually don't like carpets and coaches, but that blue carpet is just gorgeous the way it ties in with these cabinets. Such a big bathroom in the middle of this coach. All right, Damon, how much dough do you need for this coach and how many miles are on it? $249,000, 73,000 miles, Andrew. It's a lot of value, but let's see what else you guys have. Okay. Oh, nice little Tiffin Wayfarer. This brings back memories of my leisure travel van. Only 3,400 miles on this coach. This is the new Mercedes Sprinter, so it's got the updated front end. A lot of features that the older Sprinters didn't have. I love the silver, almost like a cadet blue or a gray color. It's got the Girard awning up top there. This is cool. I'm, I'm kind of comparing this to my Leisure Travel van. I think the batteries are gonna be stored down here. Yep, you got your chassis bat or your house batteries. So this is a Murphy bed as well. Very similar to my Leisure Travel van, but it also has the two recliners here with cup holders across from your galley. And this is cool. You got your TV with your built-in closets and your wardrobe. And it's still a really good size bathroom here in the back of the coach. Good size shower. I like that the shower goes below the floor. Simple toilet and bowl sink. A lot of value in this coach. This coach still smells like it's brand new, like it's never been used. And I'm a big fan of the Murphy bed. 
And then you've got more sleeping up top here. Damon, what's the story on this coach? It's like brand new. Why is it here? He's had several larger coaches and uh, it's my understanding he bought this coach to downsize and he just cannot get comfortable sleeping in it. So he brought it in after one trip and said, sell it. Hey, that's a great opportunity for somebody. Looks like you guys need $189,000. It's very hard to get these new body style sprinters very sought after, especially like a brand new Wayfair with that big slide out, a lot of value there. Now this country coach is absolutely glowing. I don't think the camera is doing justice at how rich these colors are and bright, just popping. What's the story on this? This is a 2004 Magna Resort dual slide C15 cat, big engine. Cat C15, that's over 500 horsepower? 515. And the Allison 4000 transmission? Allison 4000, Let's correct. take a quick look inside of this coach. Do yeah. you know how many miles are on it? 72,000. Barely broken in. Got a Gerard awning. Yes, sir. And then these are Panagraph bay doors that slide up the side wall like a bus. This is a cool coach. I love even the design on the ceiling, how simple everything is. All right, Damon, I'm gonna be honest. This couch looks like it was in my grandma's basement 30 years ago. Um, it's atrocious, uh, isn't it? I'm sorry, I'm just, I gotta be honest with you guys and transparent. How, how, how hard would it be to have that reupholstered here at Premier? Not very, we take it out, take it apart, and we have a local uh, upholstery shop, Millie's, that does a great job for a lot of people, very popular, and they'll put whatever fabric we want on and we'll put it back in. Do you know how much dough that cost? Oh, 1,500 to 2,000, depending on the leather or fabrics that are chosen. Yeah, but would really make this like Big a new difference. coach. Yeah. All the lighting, accent lighting, and this is with both slide rooms out, but when the slide rooms come in, it's still a very livable coach. Nice, large mid-bathroom, queen-size bed. How much dough do you need for this coach? 145, Andrew. 145,000. Yep. Cat C15 Country Coach Magna. Looks like maybe some updated electronics there. Yeah, they put a big LED there in the side of the motorhome to view from the sofa. Is this a uh, projector? That is an original projector from 04. So there's a screen that would drop down out of that slot in the front end. And that projector there, which may not work, um, would project on. That was the TV back then. Please tell me that this Country Coach Affinity is available. It's not. Oh. It is sold and a service customer. Oh man, that's a nice coach, but a lot of nice coaches in the service department here. That's a Country Coach Affinity 770 LX. What does that 770 LX stand for? I've never seen that. Well, that was a bad marketing design. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What that? Oh, uh, the marketing uh, guru at the time wanted to get rid of all the model, num model names like Affinity, Intrigue, Magna, and just have everything be a Country Coach. Basically, he wanted to copy BMW. Ah, I and see. People associated the 770 or the 260 as horsepower, so it actually hurt us more than anything. Ah, uh, okay. Well, still a beautiful coach, but uh, so this is where coaches are getting ready for delivery. These coaches are, have already been sold. Yeah, these are sold coaches. So this one's going to Arizona. That 08's going to Alabama. Yeah, let's keep walking through here. Yeah. And how many service bays do you have here at Premier RV of Oregon? I think there's 18. And how many service technicians? 14. That's a lot of room. Now uh, you've got an in-house cabinet shop, chassis shop. What all do you guys do here? Oh, we do foggy windows. We have a clean room. We have a cabinet shop, body shop, a lot of paint and body work, service, of course. And you service all motorhomes, not just Country Coach? Yeah, we do. We service all brands. And we have a uh, Newmar up here on a four travel. I mean, the Tiffin Allegro bus over there. It's a heavy duty lift there for that country coach intrigue. You guys, uh, is this where all your chassis work happens? Yep, this is. Yep, so they're all put on here and lifted up in the air and we do inspection. Fix all sorts of different items, leaks, worn panard bars, you name it. Let's keep walking around. There's still a lot of space to cover here. Yeah. Oh, that's a rare coach. Looks like a shorty with a tag axle. What is that, like a 38 foot? It's a 40. A 40 with the tag axle. Now this coach is already sold. Congratulations to the new owners. And back here is where they do a lot of the storage. 
But you guys are doing some deliveries in this area now? Yeah, the front of this building that we're standing in is where we do our deliveries to get them out of the shop. It's a little quieter and we give the orientation, which can be the whole day. We start on the outside showing them how everything works, then we go onto the inside of the motorhome and get them all dialed in. In the back, we got 50 amp hookups, so we park them back there for a night or two and let them really get dialed in with how everything works. And the techs will run on in the morning, communicate with them and make sure everything's all working and make sure they understand all the systems. Yeah. And there's a lot of value just in that. When you buy a coach, sometimes from a private party, they throw you the keys and take your money and you're on your way. But to be able to hang out here and have trusted technicians, the same guys that built these coaches, help explain how to work everything, it's a lot of value in that. It is. Are you think we could take, I know it's already sold, but you think we can just take a quick peek in this coach? Yeah, I'll show you something out here too. So this guy that, this gentleman that bought this, this frame was, or the original black anodized look, and he wanted it to match the body color. Wow, so that's we, sharp. we painted the frame and included the graphics and the stripes, so it all blends in and the door doesn't stick out like it used to. That looks really good, and you guys can do all kinds of cool stuff like that here. Yeah, we do. So he asked us if we could do that, and we said, yeah. So that got done. It's got a Gerard out here. We did an extensive remodel on this coach a few years ago, and I think you'll be impressed when you walk in it. Oh yeah. What, what year is this, an 03? 01. This does not look like a 21 year old coach. Beautiful floors, and you guys did these floors? We did everything. We did the floors, the furniture, valances, the TVs. It's all heated tile. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. And congratulations to the new owners. Those same beautiful floors go through the whole coach and there's just so much value in a coach that's really been gone through on this level. Look how open it is with the slide yeah. closed. Yeah, and this is with the slide rooms closed. I'm just gonna walk to the back real quick. Yeah, this is just tastefully done the way that these colors tie in together. You've got the light cabinets with those beautiful high gloss gray floors. They have like a gray wood look to them. You can still get around your bed with the slide room in. See, this would have had a 21 inch tube TV in that back corner. Uh huh. So we converted that into storage and we put an LED up here on the wall. And then in the front, it had a big 21 inch TV that stuck out. It was in a cabinet that sat over the driver's seat. So Gary completely gutted this whole front end, built a new roll cage, lifted the ceiling, built all these cabinets and we recessed a beautiful LED in there, tucked it way back so you have a lot of headroom when you walk in. It, it just changes the whole look of the motorhome. And recently on your guys' YouTube channel, you guys did a YouTube video about an extensive remodel on a Country Coach Affinity. I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below. It's a great video, by the way. And make sure to go subscribe over to Premier's YouTube channel too. Gary said if we can get you guys a thousand subscribers, they're gonna start making more content here. So oh, if yeah. you guys can help them get up to that thousand subscribers, they said they'd start making more content. You guys, I mean, this is from a, content creator standpoint this is the honey hole this is there's just so much cool stuff coming and going but definitely check out that remodel well, let's go back to your guys campground here okay. you think yeah. we can walk through the storage area yeah we can go right through here yeah let's just see what kind of coaches are being stored here so you know the country coaches are built on the dynamax chassis so the strength of the bones of these coaches makes the these coaches worthy of spending some money on a remodel and that affinity with that very expensive remodel. I don't know, what do you, what do you think of, of having an older country coach remodeled? I think it's a great idea. That, that particular couple, they were gonna buy a brand new King Air and it was gonna cost them around a half million trade difference. And instead they asked Gary, what would it cost to remodel this motorhome? Yeah. It turned out beautiful. Yeah, had some nice country coaches in here. Monaco signature country. You got some heavy, heavy metal in here. It's a little dark in here, but just rows and rows of country coaches. Nice little Tiff and Fate in here. Now, do you guys have any more room for more RV storage if people need their coaches stored? Yeah, we have uh, two other buildings that we do RV storage in, plus this one. And this is, you know, it tucks back this way too. How much do you guys charge for indoor RV storage? It is $3,600 a year, Andrew. That is so cheap. $300 a month for, in I mean, it would make sense my family's in the RV storage business and we charge more than for just covered storage. Wow. So in Arizona with no hookups, does that include electricity? Yeah, these are all plugged in and this building is climate controlled. 
my dad's gonna be mad at me, but this is a much better deal than <laughs> storing down in Arizona. But seriously, $300 a month, you guys gotta raise your prices on that. I would call these guys right now and get in on that if you need RV storage. Indoor RV storage, this is the cheapest indoor RV storage in the country, hands down, no one can compete, but not a lot of room left here, so call them right away. All right, where's your campground? And I have spent a lot of nights back here when I was just getting my YouTube channel going, I showed up here one day, Damon. I remember that in the Tiffin. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> so this is where when someone buys a coach, they can camp, or if they're getting some service work, maybe camp out here for a couple days. Yeah, so those people are having service and they wanna reserve the spot number one, so they got their chairs and <laughs> stuff out there. It's pretty brutal back here. Uh, 50 but, amp hookups? Yeah, 50 amp hookups. And there is about a dozen spots and it stays pretty active. Oh, that's a good looking country coach concept. Where, where are we at in the building? We're in the back in the chassis area. Now you've got a cabinet shop, so just show us around yeah, here. Yeah, that's up here on the left. Yeah, it's such a cool paint job. I love these older concepts. I could tell a lot of woodworking goes on in this building. What's going on in here? This is our cabinet shop where Chris Beckley works. And anytime we have a need for custom computer desks or booth dinettes, TV upgrades, where we build a new bucket for the LEDs, that's all done here, whether it's cherry wood. So it looks like there's a couple right there he's doing. Um, maple, whatever it is, he'll, uh, he'll make it and it'll look like it was done at the factory. Are you guys afraid of any cabinet work or woodwork? Anything you're afraid of? I don't think so. He, just, he was a cabinet guy at Country Coach. So he's, he's been doing it a long time and he's really good. He actually built the cabinets in my kitchen and he's just a hardcore cabinet guy. Nice. And God forbid you get in a wreck in one of these. I hear you guys are the guys that can make it uh, like new again. We can. It looks like this guy turned a little sharp, maybe. Um, we're doing some back cap corners, fixing that up. So a lot of the same guys that painted these new paint in here for us now, and and uh, they're great. So that 03 Intrigue, he just kind of spun around it and brought it all back up to its glory. And what we do a lot of this, we do full repaints. Um, How much does it cost to fully repaint a coach? I'm going to guess 35 to 40 grand today, Andrew. Okay. And that's, that's changing every day. Now, definitely a lot of value in having someone that knows the right way to do body work. Now, what is the story on this El Camino over here? That is a car I bought in Hawaii where I grew up in 91 and I just shipped it over here a few months ago and we're restoring it. It's a, a 69 SS 396 L89 aluminum head car. From your personal collection. From the personal I, collection. I had no idea. I was just curious what it was. So yes. I like your style. Yeah. You, so you're a car guy I hear. You got some cool cars in your collection? I like cars, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. What color are you going to paint it? It's going back to the original color, which you can see it on the door, butternut yellow. Nice. Mm -hmm. I got it from the original owner. And what engine are you going to put in it? It's got all the original numbers matching uh, SS. 396 Muncie four-speed transmission. So it's going all back to original. Nice. Well, Damon, you guys have a lot to offer here at Premier RV of Oregon. So lots of coaches for sale, service, body work, storage, upgrades, remodels, cabinets. It's a one-stop shop. A one-stop shop. Now, if someone's a serious buyer on one of these coaches yep. or want to get some service work um, or storage, who should they get a hold of? Well, for service or storage, 541-998-2640. And Jim Cooley and Doug Beaudry are the two service managers. And Caitlin does the storage. And for sales, it would be Louie at 541-953-6729 or myself at 612-865-0320. Man, that's a good looking country coach behind you. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Damon, greatly appreciate you and the team at Premier. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you.